Last time on Relegation Regen Rebuild. He slips it back forward. It's Kolomowani from range. Oh, and they're keeping it in move. Kolomowani opens up season five with a blistering strike. Well, he played the one two with Lotsari. Gave it an acre of space and he's just laced it. What was the. Hello and welcome back to Relegation Regen Rebuild FIFA 17. It's season number five. The transfer window is still open. We sit in fifth. We've played one game. It was a 2-2 draw against Sampdoria. And uh, we have a 1-0 lead uh, aggregate score in our Champions League uh, qualification. So uh, we'll get through that today. We'll finish off this transfer window. Um, We'll wait and see. I haven't really found any big stars I want to bring into the club at this stage. Uh, maybe we'll promote some more youth. Uh, but we'll just have to wait and see how this transfer window closes out. And um, see how the team is looking. That big injury to Missaroli has got me thinking that we may need another centre midfielder. Uh, but then we do have a few out on loan that could come back. I think the likes of Kaplan and uh, Moore should be back from loan shortly. They didn't come back at the start of the season. So... Um, I've got a feeling they might be coming back. We'll just have to wait and see what happens there. But let's get into this episode. I will start the player upgrades again at the end of this one. So stick around for that. Let's do this. All right, Benfica don't have any more money. This is their entire budget that they're trying to put here on Conti. Um, it's a tough call. Like, he's probably a better keeper at the moment than Clement. Clement will come through, I feel. Um... I'm just going to try one more time to push them here. I went 45. I'm going to try 42 million. All right. They've, they've bitten the bullet here, Benfica. They've said, no, we can't afford it. So uh, Conti will remain with us for the foreseeable future. Hopefully he fucking pulls his finger out and decides he wants to stay at the club. All right. Here we go. We've got them on the home deck at the San Siro. It's SK Rapid Wayne. From Austria, we have a 1-0 aggregate lead, a one goal that we scored away through Kolomowani. And now we have them on our home jet deck here to see if we can push through and get that qualification spot in the Champions League. We've rested the boys up so they're ready to go here and that's going to be the story for most of the season provided we do qualify. So uh, that squad depth will really need to go a little bit thick. Uh, especially if we have some Copa Nacionale games come through as well. We, know, we may need to bring some youth in to look for that one. But Sari, well, he hasn't opened up his season campaign just yet, but hopefully here at the San Siro, he finds his shooting boots and gets his season underway. Let's get into the game. Come on, boys. We want to qualify for the Champions League. Colomawani off to Clausen. And he's got the runner. It's Pierre Rocher. Oh, get in, Pierre! Rocher, 1-0 Milan, and Wine are on the back foot. Clausen, just seen Pierre Rocher move around majestically, opens up the angle, uses the sidebar to his advantage. Oh, get in, my son. And the Frenchman has done it. We're building quite a few French into this team. Anyone would think we're fucking Arsene Wenger. But uh, it is Milan with a 2-0 lead on aggregate now. Pierre Rocher with his first goal of the season. A little bit quiet last year. But uh, hopefully that's a sign of things to come in season number five. Passes this one off to Lotsari. Gets the ball on Clausen. Oh, Clausen slips it back out to Banks. Here's the cross. Back post. Offside. Banks. Off to Clausen. Back to Banks. Gets the run on Kolomowani. Oh, works the keeper and he picks up the crumbs. Kolomowani, that's a good ball through for Letsari. He makes the break here, Letsari. Back through the middle nicely. Still goes Letsari. Slips this one forward. Wants Klaus and oh, just couldn't settle. Corner for Milan. We are absolutely on the front foot here. Here we go, Diakabi. Get away. Who's going to get back there in time? It's Diaz. Not sure what happened. Throw in. Throw from Kolomowani. Clausen finds Letsari. Oh, picked up again, Letsari. Come on, mate. Oh, Kolomowani picks it off. Clausen. He gets drilled. 
Pierre Rocher slips this one off. Miete, Lazzari finds the opening, takes the strike, save. Another corner for Milan. We are absolutely on the front foot. Kolomowani whips this one in high. It's going to come back out to him by the looks of things. He gets a piece of it. Ricard. Off to Diacabi. There's Miete. And Miete streams forward. Miete. Oh, work the keeper. And cleared away. Got a throw in here. Very close to the half time. Slips it off for Clausen. And cleared out. There's the whistle. So a 1 0 on the day. It is 2 0 on aggregate. Oh, fuck me. What a strike. There was no stopping that. Diaz tried to make the challenge. He slipped around him and took an absolute banger from downtown. Just look at this. Miete got the challenge. It fell to the attacker. That opened up the space. And he has just whacked that one. Conti, no chance in hell. It's one all on the day. They've got an away goal as well. And we're going to have to work on our lead now. It's forward here. He tries to slip it off. It's Pierre Rocher. Oh, that sorry got in the way. It's the ball back inside. Lombardi. Banks. Pierre Rocher. Slips inside. Oh, dropped in the box. Nothing. No. Play on. Right, the Freese brothers and Mancini check into the game. We've got a free kick here. And it is Oli Fries to deliver. Whips it inside. It should come back out. Can he get up? No, he can't. He might get caught on the counter here. Miete's just about dead as well. The team is tiring. Good work from Diaz. That's it. A 2-1 victory. And we should have just qualified for the Champions League. Well, eight shots to four. It's definitely a tough game. We did have the possession for once. That's interesting. And uh, it was Clausen who dominated the midfield while he was. He did get a bit tired towards the end of the game. An 8.5 man of the match. Right, I just offered Conti 30 grand a week. And uh, he says, no, don't bother. So, uh, well, I think Conti might find his way out of the club very, very soon. If someone wants to come in and offer him the money, I think we'll just fucking let him go. All right, here we go. Back to the Calcio A. It's Torino hosting Milan. And obviously the twos team is rolling out today. Mancini up front. And can he continue his role? He got two goals there in the opening game. It wasn't enough to get us the win. Hopefully we can get over the line today as it's almost transfer deadline day. Haven't really found anyone else worth bringing in just yet. We've got money to play with, but uh, the, the, the one player I did want to bring in um, I think it's the Philip Lahm regen, to be honest, the right back from Germany, but uh, he's only just joined the club, so we'll have to wait till January to have a good look at him. Uh, here's the Torino side that we don't give two shits about. We just want to win this game. Let's do this. Cooper starting in the midfield for Misseroli. Slips it inside for Laganov. Back to Coops. Cooper! Oh, good save from Pedelli. Moves forward. Passes this one off. Minjay Sook. Cuts back. Where's the cross? There it is. Looks for Mancini. Cooper got up. Save from Pedelli. There's Laganov. Oh, that's a great ball. And it's fucking Cooper again. Cooper takes the strike, but straight at Pedelli. Cooper to Laganov. And he's unleashed Minjay Sook. Out wide. Oh, has to hold up the play. Comes back through the middle here, Sook. Just wheels around Sook. Takes the strike. Oh, he's put it wide. There's Minjay Sook. Passes this one off. Kelchan. Back to Sook. Here comes the cross. Mancini! Oh, he got up. Padelli with the save. Oh, Sook with a lethal ball in. This was just a short stab cross. Look at that. Mancini knew exactly what was happening, but a good save from the keeper. It is a corner for Milan and Sook to deliver. In it comes Cunningham trying to get up. It's going to come back out to Minjay Sook. Can he get a cross in this time? And there's no one there. Oh, good work from Cunningham. And here's Mancini. Oh, ref. Blows the whistle. It's nil all at half time, but uh, Milan looked to be on top. Oh, Shrek's missed the challenge, and Clement makes the save. Oh, Shrek just sorting himself out. He's missed a few challenges as he works his way into this Milan side, but yeah, Clement did the job there, and it is a corner for Torino now. 59 minutes gone. Steal from Mancini. Passes this one off for Laganov, and he's got runners here. And it's Cooper. 
Cooper has been everywhere today. Work oh, dropped. Oh, referee. God. Slips it off. Antonucci gets the ball through here for Sulk. He passes forward for Mancini. Turns his man. Mancini. Oh, he went heavy. He went fucking heavy. All right, we're making our substitutions. Verha Hughes and Andreas Graf coming on for his first game. Giordano, Suk and Laganov being replaced. We're going to try Graf. He can play centre forward. We're going to try him there. Verha, we're trying on a wing uh, for the second time. He's got pace. His stats say that he can play on a wing, even though he's only uh, recognised as a striker. But we'll see how he goes again today uh, in the last 19 minutes. Oh, Verha, look at the hair on him. Majestic. It's his first touch. Gets the ball back in for Cooper. Oh, straight at Padelli again. We just need to find the outside of these goals. Keeps getting the run here. Vaha uses his pace. Cuts back nicely. Vaha. Oh, what a save. Brilliant from Padelli. Graf. Out to Vaha. He's got pace, this lad. Look at him go. Takes off. Oh, I'm just wrecked by the fucking defender. Well, we've got the corner. It's Sandoval to try and whip something in here. It's up. It's high. It's Mancini! Oh! Brilliant! Fucking brilliant! This man is an absolute star of the club. Oh, brilliant from Mancini! That was fucking sensational. His third for the season in the death. The Bolivian serves it up. And Mancini adds a little bit of sauce. Oh, get in, son! This motherfucker excites me! Oh, yes! Come on! Go, son! Mancini with his third for this season. 1-0 Milan. And you can't doubt this motherfucker. He is mwah, El Dente. And there's the whistle. So we do it in the death. But we take our first three points of this season. Well, 12 shots to 2, 10 on target. Padelli was doing a very good job. It took a cracking goal from Mancini to get us the lead. And it was Sandoval getting a man of the match performance with that ball in. An 8.5. Oh, another sneaky little one-year loan offer here on transfer deadline day for Mancini. We'll accept that, see if we can uh, build him up. All right, there's five hours left of transfer deadline day, but we've managed to get Mancini up to showing great potential. I'm so fucking happy about this. I don't normally loan glitch players, but this kid right here from season one has been the go-to. He didn't have any potential. He's done the job day in, day out. Unfortunately, we lose his goals off his tally, but I do manage to keep them here on the fucking notebook. So I will know how many goals he has scored for the season. Five hours left. I'm going to put him back on the loan list and uh, see if possible we get another offer to try and glitch him out again. But I'm just happy he's got a potential now. He's going to start growing a little bit. And uh, at least here, he'll get to a, about an 80. Right, there we go. The transfer window is done. We picked up uh, three new players into the team. So what I want to do here is bring in some of these Youth Academy stars uh, just as a little bit of backup here, uh, especially for the twos. Um, because we've already lost Misseroli and that's only left us with Cooper in the midfield. So let's have a quick look. Bakare, 86 to 92, coming along nicely. Uh, Shinauda, 63 overall, 84 to 90. Uh, Orellana, 62 overall, 88 to 94. Clement has just come to me and said he's not getting enough game time. He wants to leave the club. He's played both fucking games. Jeez, what the more do these boys want? Uh, so Orellana will just have to monitor him. He may come in. You never, never know. Uh, Nathan Lemons, 58 overall, 88 to 94 potential, still only 16. I need him to grow a little bit more. I'm not going to be playing 58, so that's for sure. Uh, Akunde is 89 to 94, 63 overall right midfielder. He's a winger, so he should grow a bit more pace. We'll just leave him in the youth academy. Uh, Centre-backs, we probably need to promote one of these lads. Now, we've got Carl Vale, 64 overall, 86 to 92. He's 6 foot 6 and he's physically strong. Um, so he is one option, valued at 825. But the one I'm probably thinking about is Abilo Ribeiro. He's just turned 18, so he's going to want a contract sooner or later. He's worth 1.4 million, 88 to 94 potential, physically strong. Might have that Dear Carby kind of uh, action to him. So we're going to offer him a contract. All right, we also have Ethan Watson, 63 overall, 81 to 87 Australian right back. 
Uh, Virgilio Nunez, 63 overall, 72 to 90, technically gifted. Uh, Felix Shigari, 64 overall, 79 to 93, technically gifted from Nigeria. Uh, Branislav Tabat is 63 overall, 79 to 93. He's rapid on that left side at 16 years of age. Uh, Clifford Ajukwu, 61 overall, 81 to 94 potential from Ghana. Uh, Charles Adige, 60 overall, 74 to 94 potential. And Stefan Eriksson, 66 overall, centre forward, 92 to 94 potential, technically gifted. And uh, we're going to offer him a contract. I'm not sure how much game time he will get. Well, obviously, we've got Graf and Bahia, but uh, hopefully he can play maybe out on a wing as well. Uh, we'll just sign him up and hopefully he progresses into something special. All right, our first scout report is back from England. Uh, I think we were looking for wingers, and there's one player to keep an eye on. That is Connor Hall, 49 to 67, 70 to 94 potential. All right, we are in Portugal, and mate, this is one hell of a report. Madeira 69 to 93, Miranda 64 to 88, uh, Jorge Morillo 50 to 68, 77 to 94, uh, Gonzalo Brito 66 to 90, but that overall at 15 is 53 to 71. Uh, how do we say his name? Fineo Pauletto, 53 to 71, uh, 76 to 94, and Claudio Ribeiro, uh, 45 to 61, 74 to 94. Out and out stars all over the show, all between 250 and 375 grand evaluations. I'm gonna leave them all for a month um, and see if that narrows down a little bit. Hopefully, uh, some of the stars don't get picked up. All right, and we are in Romania. There's a few lads to keep an eye on. This lad's got question marks in his name, and uh, we'll just continue to scout these lads further. All right, well, just the two games there. You know, at the start of the season, I would normally play two and get through the squad stuff and do squad reports and all that kind of jazz. So, yeah, let's run through the full academy and squad now and see how we are looking and shaping up for season number five. All right, Clement, uh, let's sort by player position. All right, Clement is a 79, he's gone up two. And Conti is an 83, he's gone up one. They're both fucking unhappy. They're both getting games. I mean, oh, cry some more. Uh, Kelchan is a 75. Lombardi a 76, gone up one. Uh, Shrek is a 76, he's gone up one already. Cunningham a 73. Diakabi a 79, now gone up one. Diaz is an 81. Uh, Albilio Rivero, we've just signed in from the Youth Academy. 67 overall. He's got some pace and physicals about him. He's got a good stand tackle. Let's take a look. 5 foot 11 from Uruguay. Can play CDM as well. 3 star weak foot, 2 star skill moves. I think he'll be handy. He'll definitely help us out. Uh, Giordano out on loan is a 65. El Mazzari out on loan is a 68. Uh, Sandoval 74, gone up 1. Ricard is a 74, gone up one. Starting to grow in physical, so that's important. Uh, Dior is a 70, gone up one, out on loan. Uh, Antonucci is 74. It looks like he's growing a little bit. Reese Fraser is a 70, gone up one. Fraser's key problem is his physicality. He just cannot hold up that uh, CDM position. Not the kind of player that I'm really interested in playing that role, but uh, does do a job when required at this stage, so we'll hold on to him. Su Zhao has the physicals, but... Uh, there's just something that doesn't feel right about him, but uh, we'll hold on to him. Isaac Hughes, 69, gone up one. Oliver Free, 76, now gone up one. Reese Banks is 76, gone up one. Uh, Amit Kaplan is a 74, 99 ball control. Uh, Lucas Cooper is a 70, he's holding that midfield now in the twos. Uh, Miete, 77, gone up one. Mr. Roly, 74, gone up one, six months away still. He picked up two assists in the European International Cup. Not bad. Uh, Pierre Rochers is 75. He's gone up one. Thomas Moore is a 69, out on loan. Uh, Dave Watson is 70, gone up one, out on loan. Uh, Alberto Giordano, 72. Um, technical still growing. That's handy. He's doing the job. He's doing the job. That's all I can ask. I like to keep some of the originals around the club. You don't want to go out and just blow all your cash on regens. Uh, it just defeats the purpose of the Youth Academy. Uh, Kola Mouani, 79, gone up one. Anton Herrickson, 66, gone up one, out on loan. Elbasia, 72, gone, uh, out on loan. Laganov's gone up one to 71. Uh, he's still gone up in finishing, that's nice. Klausen, 77, gone up two. Um, we've got Letsari, an 81. 
Ericsson is a 66 who we've just brought in. Center forward. He's got good technicals. We just hopefully his physicals grow. Let's have a look at what he's got here. Five foot eight from Sweden. He can play center forward and striker. Um, left footed, low defensive work rate, three star, three star. So uh, we'll just have to wait and see how he develops. Moussa Bamba, 63, out on loan. Abubakar, 63, out on loan. Minjay Sooks is 72. Christopher Fries, 75, gone up one. Belgazi, 71, out on loan. Andreas Graf is a 64. He's gone up two now already since uh, coming into the side. He hasn't had any training. He's just decided to rock it up to a 64. Uh, Eric Fahar, 73, growing in speed. Nice. And uh, Mancini, 76. I'm not sure why he's unhappy, um, but he's up to a 7 million evaluation. Uh, he's showing great potential now. And um, I think we're just going to offer him some money just to keep him happy. And Simon Albert, 64, gone up one. And that is our full squad. All right, time for a player upgrade. And it will be Shrek, the German centre-back. Um, he fucked up before, but uh, hopefully he comes good as he finds his way and starts fitting in in this team. So if you want to make any changes to his number or his kit, let me know in the comments. I'll get that one happening in a future episode. Right, so that's where we'll wrap things up. Uh, we've played two, we've won one, we've drawn one, we sit in fourth. Now, Mancini scored three, but he has got zero on the golden boot tally, so... Um, that's the only frustrating thing about loan glitching, but I don't care. We've got him a potential now. It's onward and upward for Milan. Hopefully you're excited for season number five. We'll see you in the next episode. I'm Sparring DK. It's five o'clock somewhere. And you, have a good one.